Hello Wet Shavers. In this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Coming up next on the Soap Thing Project. All right, just a quick unboxing for today. We're gonna to try to get everybody out of here as quick as we can. The knife for today's unboxing is my Rick Hinderer Knives Half Track. So let's get this knife and let's open the box. Hope everybody is doing well, having great shaves, getting all your boxes in the mail. Send a box to Arthur Knowles. Uh, a while back via FedEx and it disappeared without a trace. They delivered it to the wrong address. I was so pissed. <laughs> so, But it does look like I'm gonna get uh, the insurance refund for it. So at least there's that. So some sometimes stuff just disappears. You know, you have to wonder. Okay, opening the box here. Looks like we have some Fresco advertising going on in the box. Looks like we got a sample of Droid Black. Aftershave, an homage to Floyd Black. Interesting. Can't you still get Floyd Black? I don't know. Put it put it in the comments section. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can still get Floyd Black. It's still being produced. That's interesting though. I mean, he can do whatever he wants. It's just I just find that interesting. Okay. Inside the box we have Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Fresco, and this is CK1 Formula Soap. And this is supposed to be inspired by the uh, 1980s and early 90s Old Spice Fresh. So I have never smelled that particular scent before. So I am going to approach this with an open mind. And let's have a smell. Scent strength for this one is a two out of three, medium. I actually kind of like this. Uh, you have to excuse me. I'm, I got some fluid in my ear that the doctor is uh, dealing with, so it makes it. I get this kind of like fuzzy uh, TV static sound in my ear. So that's good though. It's not based on the. New Old Spice Fresh, like the deodorants that you find at Target, Walmart, that sort of thing. This has a much more quintessential kind of 70s and 80s aromatic fougere sort of scent. We'll talk more about it when we do the shave video. Yeah, that's a lot better than what I'm used to smelling. Because uh, it is marketed as an aromatic fougere. However, uh, aromatic fougere uh, has broad connotations. So there are a lot of scents that are that claim to be an aromatic fougere that smell far differently. So we'll talk about that in the actual shave video, but here we have the matching aftershave. So let's open it up. I have a feeling that this is uh, about as close to the original Old Spice Fresh as you're going to get. I will say that much because if there's anything I know about uh, Douglas Smythe when it comes to duping other people's scents, the man is an evil genius. So here's the aftershave splash that goes with it. 
I stuck my nose up to it and then realized you gotta take the top off first. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, we're gonna leave that in the video. Who cares? Um, if I can get it off. There we go. Finally. That took a minute. <laughs> okay. It does look like we got all the, the sticker off the top of it. I like that. I said in another video that I wasn't thrilled about this one, but then I bought another PAA item that had the sample of Fresco in it, and I was like, oh, okay, let's give it a try. And then I smelled it, and it doesn't smell anything like the new stuff. This is, this is really good. It's a clean, fresh, masculine, aromatic fougere sort of thing, and it's good to go. That much I'll say about it right out of the gate, so. That'll be the unboxing for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.